This will hopefully be a very short and sweet video on how I upgraded my uh, service to my garage. Basically, I wanted to get rid of the uh, hanging, the suspended service that I had when I moved into my house. Um, apparently, that hanging 12 gauge wire is legal. It's from one of my light fixtures at the house to a uh, weather head at the garage. Apparently, that's that's actually legal, but um, I think it's pretty dangerous because anything, anytime you're carrying a tall object or the other day I was carrying a ladder and I ran into it, it's, it seems like pretty unsafe. So that was one of my goals when I first moved in to get rid of that stuff. Plus, I wanted to get the cable wire uh, from the service and from the back lines that goes all the way to the front side of my house. I wanted to remove that as well. So um, I went with a 60 amp breaker, dual pole breaker in my main panel underground with six gauge wire and uh, into a one and a half inch schedule 40 conduit. 36 inches buried from my house to my garage and um, I think it was 36 or 18 inches I don't remember I have to look that up and then six uh, inches below the surface you do a some caution tape to prevent anyone from you know digging down if they forget that for some reason that that, that uh, conduits there I also ran another one inch conduit with my with an ethernet cable going out from my router in my house and uh, the cable wire going from the back of the garage uh, into the house. So it was a pretty big upgrade and I was able to get my cable wire and the three electrical wires out of there. So all I have hanging over the house now is my electrical uh, service. The mini panel in the garage I think was capable of 100 amps. Um, I have three 20 amp circuits in there right now. And I think that's a little bit overkill because I don't have a shop in my garage or anything. Uh, there's a four, I believe, either four gauge or six gauge uh, bare copper wire as a ground for the garage, a standalone ground for the garage, which is required by code. Um, let me think, is there anything else? No, I think that's pretty much it. I decided to put the panel in and uh, build a little wall so that the panel was inset into the wall. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I think it, at the end it kind of looks a little bit better because it's hidden but it, it required more work than I think needed to be done in my garage. I used a little bit of corner bead for um, drywall in order to make it look a little bit better, but really you don't even notice it. And I think I won't be doing much else in the garage, so it probably doesn't matter that much. Let's see, is there anything else? I guess probably uh, one thing I would recommend is if you're pulling the six gauge, if you have six gauge wire, get as thick uh, of a conduit as possible one and a half inch was okay, but it, after you get to a point where you're going quite a bit of, big of a distance, I think I went 60 feet or more, it becomes very difficult difficult to pull. And then once you have everything set up, it becomes very difficult to connect the conduit together so that you can you know, take it apart and, and glue it and then re put it back together. It's, it becomes very difficult. So that was one of the harder things I had to do. Um, maybe the other thing I would recommend is when the inspector comes, make sure you have pretty much everything done because I had him come once and I had him look at everything and then give me advice and that's not really how it works. Luckily, he was willing to come back a second time without charging me. But you basically wanna have everything wired up to the point where you're just opening up. You leave the drywall open and uh, you leave the your panel open and then you're wiring whatever you can and then he can check that out and then you're basically showing him right before you close up the wall and close up the panel and everything before he, um, after he leaves and signs off on the job.